Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. Today is our weekly memory verse flow. So each week we um, take a, a verse of scripture, we memorize it by connecting it to breath and movement. Um, today I chose a verse from the Book of Wisdom, Proverbs 16, 24. Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. I think it's really interesting how even you know, thousands of years ago, words were recognized as something that could hurt, but that also could bring joy and peace to the soul, sweetness to the soul, and have an impact on our physical health as well. Gracious words are healthy words. Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. As you sit, anchor into your sitting bones, go ahead and shrug your shoulders up to your ears. And as you're ready, just exhale and let them drop. And two more times. Begin to find a breath that moves all the way down the front of the body, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs, the rib cage, the diaphragm with air. Exhaling, drawing the belly in, softening the rib cage and emptying the lungs. Feel the movement of the breath through the body and invite the Holy Spirit to guide your practice today. Connecting the scripture verse to breath. Inhaling, gracious words are like a honeycomb. Exhaling, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Take one more breath here. As you're ready, take a deep breath in. Let those arms rise up and overhead. Exhaling, bring the right hand down, left arm over to the side. And bring both arms down. Inhaling, arms come up and overhead. Exhaling, come over, left hand comes to the mat, right arm reaches. Arms come down. Inhaling, arms rise, exhaling, come down to the side. Release the arms. Inhaling, arms rise, gracious words are like a honeycomb. Coming over, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Release. One more time each direction. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Last time. As you're ready, just bring the arms all the way down. Walk the fingers back behind you. As you draw the navel in and up, feel the collarbone rise. Begin to find your back bend. Seated cow. And then exhaling, bring the arms forward. Seated cat. Find your cow inhaling and your cat exhaling. Add the scripture. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Two more times, cow to cat.
stay in cat. Interlacing the fingers, draw the palms towards me. Gently bring that right shoulder forward, lift it up and look underneath, finding a stretch in the upper back. And then release, bring the palms in and all the way up. Exhale into another cow pose. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale into your last cat, interlacing the fingers awkwardly, backs of the hands towards me, left shoulder reaches forward and up as you look under. As you're ready, release, palms come forward and up, release, let the hands come all the way down to your side. Come up off your prop if you're on one, bring both props, blocks to the front edge of the mat if you have them. Fingers are spread wide. Press at the base of the first finger, pinky finger, each side of the wrist. Imagine the palm reaching up towards the sky as the fingertips connect. Smack through the tops of your feet. And press into the tops of your feet, engaging through the abdominals. Inhale into cow. And exhale to cat. Adding the scripture, gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. One more time, cow to cat. Gracious words are, are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul, and health to the body. Go ahead and bring your hands, one handprint forward, find that kneeling plank, and exhale down to the mat. Forearms to the mat, meet me in sphinx pose. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time here. Rise into Sphinx and stay there. Find strong abdominals, drawing the hip points forward and up, engaging from the pelvic floor all the way up to the base of your throat. Engage the legs as you press through the tops of your feet and draw your quadriceps in towards your hips. Exhaling, hands to rib cage. Draw back to child. And come table to child twice. Coming into table, gracious words are like a honeycomb. Coming to child, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Meet me back in table, curling the toes underneath, bring the knees into the rib cage. Shake out your head no and yes as you find downward facing dog. Begin to pedal through your feet, moving your hips side to side. And the inhale, heels rise, and the exhale, heels come down to the mat. Stay here for two breaths, checking in, noticing body, mind, and spirit, what downward facing dog is telling you today. Maybe connecting to the scripture verse. On the next inhale, the right leg rises high. 
Draw the gaze forward, bring the foot through the hands, drop the back knee, rise up into a back bend. Exhale, hands to either side of the foot, raise the back leg, straighten out the front leg as the head bows down. Lunge the front leg forward, bring the front foot to the back, meet me in plank. And from plank, drop down to the knees, come down to the mat and find a back bend. And curling the toes under, meet me in downward facing dog. Left leg rises high. Gaze comes forward in between the hands. Back knee drops as you rise up into a back bend lunge. Exhale, hands to either side of the foot, back leg rises, front leg extends. Lunge the front leg, front foot to the back, meet me in plank, and come down to the mat. Find your back bend and meet me in downward facing dog. Inhaling, right leg rises high, gaze comes forward, foot comes through, back knee drops, rise into lunge. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. Hands come down, extending into the hamstring stretch, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Lunging the front leg, front leg comes to the back, meet me in plank. Find your back bend and meet me in downward facing dog. Left leg rises high. Gaze comes forward through the hands, back knee drops. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. Find your hamstring stretch, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Lunge forward, front foot to the back, meet me in plank. Come down to the mat. Gracious words are like a honeycomb, back bend, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Meet me in downward facing dog. So one more time through that same sequence, right leg rises high, find your lunge. Come up into your back bend. Find your hamstring stretch. Lunge and bring the front foot to plank. Come down to the mat and find your back bend. And meet me in downward facing dog. Left leg rises high. Gaze comes forward in between the feet, back knee drops, find your back bend. Exhaling, hands come to either side of the foot, extend the front leg into hamstring stretch. Bend the leg last time, front foot comes to the back, find a plank, down to the mat, find your back bend. And meet me in downward facing dog. And stay in downward facing dog. And shake your head out no. And shake your head out yes. And begin to check in again, just noticing the way the feet are connected to the mat, the feeling in the body, the way the breath is moving. The next inhale, right leg rises high, gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through, sweep up into your lunge, find your back bend. 
Exhaling, give yourself a hug nose to knee. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time, add the scripture verse. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Come all the way up, stay in that lunge. Bring that right hand to the small of the back, left arm across and find twist. Breathe into your twist. And then as you're ready, just drop this front arm to inside that foot. Sweep the top arm up, reaching, reaching, reaching. My right arm is reaching to the sky. My left arm is right inside that foot. Exhale, unwind. Back foot comes up to meet the front. Meet me in chair pose. Find the pose. Hips drop down just a bit. Abdominals in, rise up in the mountain. Exhale forward, find your plank, down to the mat and into a black bend, and meet me in downward facing dog. Stay here and find the scripture verse. Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Left leg rises high, gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through, rise up into that lunge and that back bend. And exhale, finding balance, giving the leg a hug, nose to knee. Rise back up. Two more times here. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Rise all the way up. Left hand to the small of the back. Right arm across. Find your twist. And create the twist with your breath. Gently guiding the upper body towards the back with that exhale. And then as you're ready, just let that bottom arm come down, hand to the inside of that foot. Top arm rises high. Find breath. And as you're ready, unwind, float the back foot up to meet the front. Drop your hips down, meet me in chair. And from chair, rise up in the mountain pose. And exhale into forward fold. Hands to shins, come up halfway. Exhale down. One foot back and then the other, find your plank. From plank, come down to the mat. Tops of the feet to the mat, rise up into back bend. Exhale, meet me in downward facing dog. And the next inhale, right leg rises high. Gaze comes forward. Bring your foot to the front. Take a nice deep breath in, pivot, sorry, foot to the front, bring up a, a block if you have one in front of the foot, pivot into warrior two, drop the back arm, find your peaceful warrior, come up and over into that side angle bend. So that back foot is parallel to the back edge of the mat, front knee is centered over that front ankle. Connecting with the scripture, peaceful warrior, gracious words are like a honeycomb, side angle bend, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Stay here for a moment, just bring that top arm up. 
and then to the small of the back. And we're just going to stay here. Can you find the strength and the stability as you press through the outside edge of your foot, bring your hips slightly forward, and use those abdominals for support? Release, arm comes back, Peaceful Warrior. Cartwheel all the way over. Go ahead and bring the back foot to the front. Dropping hips, find chair pose. Hands to heart, come down and all the way up into mountain. Exhaling forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhale down, find your plank. Gracious words are like a honeycomb, find your back bend. Sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Meet me in downward facing dog. Right leg rises high. Gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through, sweep your way all the way up into that lunge. And exhale into that warrior too. Peaceful warrior, back arm drops. Side angle bend, front arm comes all the way across. Back and forth here. Connecting to breath. Connecting to scripture. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Stay in side ankle bend. Reach that top arm up, stack your shoulders and bring your hands to the small of your back. And begin to find as much strength as you can here. Again, the hips are slightly forward, it feels like might feel like the hips are coming forward. For me, it does. That front knee towards the ankle, a little extra weight in the outside edge of that back foot. Come all the way back into Peaceful Warrior, and then meet me in Warrior Two. Feet together, hands to hips. Toe heel your feet in, facing the side of your mat here. Go ahead and bring the arms out to the side. Press into your right foot as your left leg rises. Bring the arms into a Y. And meet me in star pose. Just leaning up and over an imaginary bar, flexing your foot, finding your focal point. Release and come center. Hands to the small of your back, find your back bend. Meet me back at center, arms rise. Press into that left foot, right leg rises high. Arms in that Y, begin to tilt over to the left, finding star pose. And come back to center. Find your back bend. And your forward fold. And so from forward fold, just toe heel your feet out wide again. Bring your hands forward. Find a downward facing dog body here. And then as you're ready, pivot towards the front. Bring the back foot forward. Find your forward fold here. Back of the head reaching towards the mat. Both legs come back, find plank. From plank, work your way down to the mat. Find your back bend. and meet me in Downward Facing Dog. 
Two breaths here, connect to scripture. Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Right leg rises high, gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through the hands. Sweep your way up into your warrior, pivot into your warrior two. Come back into peaceful warrior and forward into side angle bend. Stay in side angle bend. Bring your top arm up towards the sky. Step into that front leg. Imagine that you're coming into star pose. Raise that back leg as your bottom arm comes to the block or the floor, half moon. Stay in half moon and come back, peaceful warrior. Cartwheel the arms to either side of that front foot. Bring the front foot back. One more time through your flow. Come all the way down to the mat and up. Exhaling, meet me in downward facing dog. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health to the body. This time the left leg rises high, gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through, rise up into lunge, pivot into warrior two. Peaceful warrior to side angle bend. Anchor into side angle bend, that top arm reaches towards the sky. You're gonna float the back leg up. Think about how star pose felt as you bend. Find that block or the floor in front of you. Half moon pose. One more breath here. And exhale your way back to Peaceful Warrior. Final cartwheel forward. Pivot that back foot. Go ahead and bring that front foot to the back. Find plank. From plank, come all the way down to your mat. Inhale into your last back bend. Whatever back bend you choose, stay there for two breaths. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health for the body. Come to your knees and meet me back in child's pose. Rise up into table. Come back into child and stay in child. Find the verse. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Say it out loud. As you're ready, press into your hands and come up. Bring your feet in front of you. Go ahead and let those heels come wide. Gentle lower body twist as the knees drop side to side. And then as you're ready, just come to center. Hands underneath the legs. Find a seated cat and a seated cow. One more time, cat to cow. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health to the body. And then holding on behind your legs, come down onto your back. And knees together, begin to just circle your knees on the ceiling, massaging out your lower back.
In the other direction. And gently just bring the knees into the rib cage and away back and forth here a couple of times. And as you're ready, feet on the mat, knees bent, bring the arms all the way up to the ceiling, reach as high as you can. And as you exhale, let the shoulders thump down to the mat and twice more. And the palms come down to the hips, palms up, extend the legs long. Maybe roll your head side to side, up and down. And settle into Shavasana. Gracious words are like a honeycomb sweetness to the soul, and health to the body. In these final minutes, how are you using your words? How can your words inspire, encourage, and build up? Bringing sweetness and health Stay here a little longer if you can, but if you need to get on with your day, just begin to wiggle fingers and toes, wrists and ankles, turn your head side to side. Take a deep breath in, arms reaching up and overhead. Find length. And as you're ready, bend your knees and roll over onto your side. Taking two breaths here. Pressing into your hands, come up to a sitting position, eyes still closed. Find your sitting bones. And just check in body, mind, and soul. You're noticing the differences even a short practice can bring. Taking a deep breath in, arms rise up and overhead, exhaling, hands to heart, bowing your head. Holy God, forgive us for the careless way we use our words. Thank you for this gentle reminder. By your spirit, may the words that we bring to others today be full of hope and love and encouragement. It is in the name of Jesus the Christ that we pray. Amen. Thank you for sharing your time with me today.